A showdown over gun control at the state capitol has yet to happen. Governor Tony Evers calling the legislature into a special session today to take up a pair of gun control measures. Both have been fiercely opposed by Republican lawmakers. Ben Jordan is live at the capitol and with the very latest on this special session. Ben? Charles, Democratic representatives have called for this special session to begin several times now. However, Republican leaders have yet to take it up. A day that was supposed to be focused on gun control in the Wisconsin legislature will now turn into a night as Republican leaders hold off on the special session to focus on other items on their agenda. This special session, demanded by Governor Evers, was supposed to address two gun control measures. The first would require universal background checks for most handgun purchases. Mothers Against Gun Violence founder Deborah Gillespie says it would save other mothers from feeling her pain. If responsible gun ownership legislation such as universal background checks were in place, the felon would not have gained access to the gun that was used to murder them. The second proposal is what's called red flag laws, which would give judges the power to take weapons away from people deemed to be a threat to themselves or others. Governor Evers points to a recent Marquette Law School poll, which found more than 80 percent of Wisconsinites support both proposals. Republican Robin Voss calls them an attack on Second Amendment rights. I think Governor Evers um, playing politics with this is really sad. Uh, I certainly think that's what he's indicated over and over again. It's all about the politics. Republicans and Democrats Democrats great divide on this issue evidenced by both parties blaming the other. Today's action is these guys trying to have cover for their cowardice on the firearms issue. Republicans shifted their focus to mental health and suicide prevention proposals including one that would give gun shop owners the opportunity to apply for grants to provide temporary storage for guns in times of crisis. It's a voluntary program. It's not like we're stripping people of their their guns. This is something where there's been an identified crisis, mental health crisis identified, and we're going to offer these services to those that voluntarily want to seek temporary storage of firearms. And both the Assembly and the Senate have until midnight tonight to hold this special session. Republican leaders have vowed all along not to take a vote on the proposals. Live at the State Capitol Building, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.